welcome back doing another video today I'm gonna to do the New Mexico class I decided uh, why not I actually kind of enjoy the this era US battleships although I do wish that they would add another hull for US battleships right here I played around with a couple of different hulls and this one it still gives me the best look I find for the for the US ships I mean I only have one spot right there so we'll place a second or main tower right there this one I can vary so I'll put it right there and get myself a funnel place it right there oh yeah it was a 21 knot battleship a little bit more come on there and the only thing about this is there's only those two no, small and large there isn't a larger one that I can go to so I'm just gonna max it out anyways and add some things here I know it had crept no again no people have talked about this no what y you almost can't tell which one's which what it is no a lot of them used cemented but what exactly does that mean people different navies use different things so give myself a bar bit double hull I'm, I don't think it was triple hull I'm I'm not sure what ships would use triple hull so no if, if you guys know hmm really it should be all or nothing I'll give it a turtle back I guess I didn't go far enough in the uh, timeline and hmm I'm gonna go with TNT. And of course, you gotta speed things up. Huh. It had 21 inch torpedoes, but I can only go to 19, so. I'm pretty sure it had a range finder, and. Let's see. I think outside of Germany, pretty much everybody used this style. So. Go with that here. Add the main guns here. Triple 14 inch guns. Oh, I need a bar bit. That might help. Oh, not side. What am I doing? Clicking wrong buttons. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Bang. Get my secondary guns. This is the only the problem right here is the 5 inch guns it had 14 and there's only slots for 12 so I will go over here and add one 5 inch gun right, right here gives us our 14 it also had a uh, I saw two different areas no one was 4 3 inch guns no one was 8 3 inch guns and so I kind of decided to go between them both and give myself six. Torpedo tubes, two. And now, man, I really do that well. Had some armor on it, you know, 13.5 inches to eight inches so I'm, I'm gonna try this see if that eight inches does anything deck was actually 3.5 to 2.5 cunning tower was 11.5 the turrets were actually quite heavily armored a lot of times uh, I will use the face value right here and for this one it was 18 inches the top was five inches and again as normal 
I didn't find any. It's hard to find information on the secondaries. I mean, overall, no, it, it doesn't look too bad. It, it looks like an American battleship. I do wish we could find an area where this barbette is connected with the superstructure. Because in the New Mexico, I think Arizona, uh, up to the Colorado class, the superstructure was kind of, these were kind of connected. And this, this bar bit, actually I think was separate. So it, it'd be nice to find something like that. I did, there was one ship I saw. It had the right hull style, but there were no cage masks. So... Yeah. One thing I'd, I'd like to see him do is you know those uh like had how oh, they had at Pearl Harbor, the Arizona at Pearl Harbor, you not know, New Mexico, and them that uh, I call it like a tripod, and you know, it had a that big uh, superstructure up on top. I like to be able to see that have that type of uh, thing. Well, maybe look more like a pyramid, a house on a pyramid, on a tripod. USS Texas has it. Now the the style that replaced the cage mast. Okay, I'm going to try it again here and see if we can get the destroyers close enough to do some damage. I forgot who I put my... Osto Hunger... Osto Hunger... Tongue tied and suddenly I can't say that. One, two, three, four, f five. You know, they almost look... Uh, too large for the hull, doesn't it? So they have a 10 inch, 10 gun broadside. 13, 14 inch guns, probably. Oh, let's see, I've been hit, so. It just says on fire. Doesn't say what hit it. Really? There we go. Somehow it was on that Norfolk's way out there. It's got a it's got a task to catch up to the Stockdale here. Let's see. 5 inch, 5 inch. Louisiana's on fire. I forgot to rename the ship, didn't I? Uh, but I got some good, I got some hits in return. What am I firing at? That destroyer. Be nice if I could sink that destroyer. Ooh. Yeah, hit. They have 14 inch guns because I just. Where did I get? I got hit with a 14 inch gun. Yeah, the extended deck got 103 damage. So maybe the 8 inch. 
armor didn't do too much. Yeah. Man. And Norfolk is... I don't know what it's doing. It's out there doing its own. Oh, what the. What happens if I do this for a brief moment? Yeah. I'm unsure what I'm doing. <laughs> Man, that one was was damaged and looks like it might be going under. I got some torpedoes coming. I thought the torpedoes were Yeah, they're way out there. I mean I'm not sure why it's trying to turn. Computer's doing crazy stuff. Let's smoke. Where is it? There it is. Do some smoking. Norfolk. Uh, I, I still don't know what happened there. That. What type of turn? I got two things of torpedoes, four inch guns, a bunch of three inch guns, some torpedoes. See if I can get closer to that battleship. Oh, got another hit on that guy. Now know what it is. And yeah, four inch guns, three, two. Whoa. Put some torpedoes on the back of that sucker. Oh, got hit. It's taken quite a bit of damage. I have 14 inch guns, an 8 inch gun, 7 inch guns, 5. Uh, let's see, quality 100. Uh, that destroyer sank. Let's see, what's my quality? 90. He actually has better armor what I had crop three, so no, I had crop two, so he has crop three. Let's see the log. I got hit with a 14 inch shell. That'll generally do it with a destroyer. You no, know, get hits, getting hit with those big guns. Let's see if I can get in close here. So I got torpedoes incoming. Uh, apparently that's uh, something up with the uh, newest update. Or the one that's going to be coming out hopefully this week or next week. Uh, destroyers are going to be uh, harder to hit. Not to emulate real life. Yeah, right there are the torpedoes. Where is this guy? I I give up with this guy. I don't know where he's going. Uh, 
essentially I'm doing a two on two battle here as no, destroyer battle oh that's not good seven inch guns yeah nope See what Yeah, what is this? Let's see if I can get him turned around into the battle here. I mean the AI, I don't know what the AI, AI has him going out over here. Yeah. I'm noticing that the AI cannot steer destroyers. And that destroyer's pretty much. What's the reload? 450 seconds. Yeah, I think it's going to sink before that. Um, let's see about focusing on... on that. Hmm. Torpedoes incoming? Somewhere? I mean, we're right there. Not sure. Of course, it's been known to do stuff, weird stuff like that. Let's see, what's the damage been? I've done 3.8 and he's done 1.8 and we've each lost a ship. Although he's had a destroyer hit. The battleship has not really been hit. Destroyers still what nine almost ten kilometers away because it couldn't make up its mind what it was gonna do. That's not good. Let's see, was that extended belt? Yep. Darn it, right there, another extended belt. The eight inch too much. And now my steering is damaged. I'm going to try giving it straight there. That'd be nice if I could hit. Loading. Uh. And yeah, didn't hit a thing. Although he's hitting seventeen percent. Didn't know that, that hit anything. Although 
I took something and am flooding. Incoming, let's see, do I hit? Oh. I did hit, but didn't do much. No, mid belt, partial pins, no. Really not a whole lot. Let's see, this destroyer's coming racing in still. Trying to come into the rescue. Oh, flash fire. A two inch gun. Yeah, that's another thing that's going to be changing is the flash fires for destroyers, the smaller uh, guns. Oh, they're just going off like crazy. Oh, look at that. Wow. I'm going to see if I can turn. The, the steering is damaged. So... I may not be able to avoid those torpedoes. I mean, look at that. What? One, one, two, three, four, maybe five. Flash fire, got flash fire. Oh, is it one, two, three, f at least four? Oh, my destroyer. I completely forgot while I was looking at all that and. Maybe I'll be lucky and be able to... Do it aggressive. See if it'll launch. Maybe if I'm lucky, come on. Fire those torpedoes, please. Hmm. I got so busy looking at this damage that I forgot about what I was doing here. And I did manage to avoid the torpedoes. How about that? But well, the destroyer is not sunk. Yeah, it sank. Uh, taking damage. Not one of my better games so far. And give it a speed up here. Let's see. Will I be able to straighten out here? Or am I going to be a forever turn like, uh, what was that, War Spite at uh, Jutland? Not just like it's a very slow turn, so. Where is that, how far out is that destroyer? Seven kilometers. Battleship is battle of something happened there. It took it must have taken a pounding. Hmm. Peculiar. 
I was not paying attention to that. If I'd been paying attention to this right here, no, that might have... Of course, being on the edge and then it... And it isn't suddenly. Not. Man, so close. Although I think it got hit again. Oh, yeah, yeah. It sank. Haha. <laughs> About time. Now, come on, that little enemy destroyer. Let's tango. All I need is one good hit. I mean, it's already damaged. It's got engine trouble, of course, against the destroyer with the with the rudder damage. That's not good news. Oh, there it is. Must have been a fourteen, yeah, fourteen-inch shell hit. Of course, I lost two destroyers, but I sank his battleship. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Had fun. And I'll see you next video.